everyone, welcome to another episode of Fit You with Eileen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a fire lock pose or Agni Shambhasana. So it's a great pose to really stretch out the hip and groin area and it also helps to strengthen your ankles and your calves. Especially good to do if you have been sitting down for long periods of time, you feel some tightness in the hips, and this will help. So I hope you put it as part of your routine. Without further ado, let's go straight into the pose. I'm going to show you how to do it from a sitting staff pose, so with the legs I'll stretch in front of me. I'm going to start with my right side, I'm going to bring my right foot in, and just making sure that my right shin is parallel with the mat. And reaching over for the left foot, I'm just going to stack my left ankle over my right knee, and my left knee is over my right ankle. And from here, both shins are sort of in line and parallel with the mat, and you want to actively flex your feet. So when you flex your feet, you can feel the calf activating straight away. Feels really great. And from here, just keep flexing through. Just be aware that the ankle doesn't roll in. See, if I roll it in, and compare that with an active flex. So yeah, pushing through your toe mounts right there, really activating the calves. And from the hip as well, really rotating through sure that your sit bones are nice and grounded still onto the mat, not lifting up, active, very active pose, and just sitting here, nice, so being aware if your ankles start rotating in to just press them away like I'm doing here, and breathe, don't forget to breathe, and from here if you want to even tilt forward a little bit, you can go ahead and do that, bring your palms in front, Making sure at all times that your hips are still on the mat, you're not lifting up, sit bones are still on the mat. You can walk forward, like making sure if you are sitting forward, bringing your hands forward, that your spine is nice and lengthening and rounding through the shoulders, or rather lengthening, sitting the hips back, and feeling that stretch, bringing great length through, at the same time really activating still. Don't forget about those ankles. And coming back, and let's swap legs around. So, switching through, top leg goes down now, whichever side you've done, bottom leg up. So again, making sure ankles and knees are stacked. Sitting up, and this time I'm going to make sure that my right hip is rotating outwards, and ankles, feet pressing through, pressing through, the big toe mounts right there. Lengthen and root through, feeling your hips squeezing, a lot of fire going on there. And now you can even walk forward if you like, bring the hands forward, lengthening through the spine, sitting the hips back, really feeling that stretch. If your knees are lifting up quite high, that's fine, you can always put a cushion or a block if you have one, just so that they are resting a bit easier, make it a little bit more comfortable for yourself. And coming back, walking the hands back, and from here, just releasing the pose. Come into any easy seated position of your choice. And like I said, I hope that helps. And you put that into your routine every day for great results. Alright, hope to see you again next time. If you like that video, give that a thumbs up. And see you again next time on Fit You with Eileen. Happy practicing, champs. Bye!